I'm Michelle Ackley, I'm a TV presenter, I'm 39 years old and I was first diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 24. Um, going back to my early 20s, I remember those first feelings that something wasn't quite right. I used to get incredible stomach cramps, which I thought was just associated with the time of the month, period pains. They used to get worse and worse, so much so that I wouldn't be able to go into work. I wouldn't be able to socialize with friends. Every month became this point where I'd just be stressed, anxious, depressed, um, and kind of almost going into myself because of everything that was happening in my body. I remember one day actually sitting down with my mom and saying, mom, I really don't feel well. My stomach is, is killing. It's like th these period pains, they're too much. And it was my mum that actually said, you know what, I think you need to speak to someone. She actually suffered from endometriosis at the time. And on reflection, she said to me now that the things that I was discussing with her almost sounded similar to the symptoms that she'd um, experienced herself. I went to a specialist and, and spoke about everything that I was um, going through and was eventually diagnosed with, with endometriosis. When I was diagnosed, it was almost like there was two parts to it. One, relief that there was a name, a condition attached to how I was feeling and feeling also like there's a route to treating this, to actually feeling better in myself. The other part of me was thinking, gosh, you know what? I've, I've sat and not spoken out and had all these things going on for so long, which I could have addressed sooner. Um, so my journey with endometriosis began um, and I had a laparoscopy, which was laser treatment to get rid of some of the tissue. I had Zolodex injections. And then I actually went on to a different form of treatment, which was the Marina coil, which is a form of, of contraceptive um, as well, but, but worked for, for treating the endometriosis. That for me was something that really actually made the difference. It, it went from me constantly worrying about my physical symptoms to actually not spending that much time thinking about the condition, not feeling like the condition was labeling me, and when it comes to endometriosis, it isn't just those physical signs. For me, it was the, the mental aspect as well, the impact that it had on me, just not wanting to, to speak, not wanting to go out, not wanting to do anything. If I reflect now on how I was in my early 20s and how I dealt with it, it's a completely different person to, to how I am now. Um, for anybody that's, that's going through it, um, or thinking of it as, as a condition that they might be going through, I would say first and foremost, listen to your body. If there are certain changes that are happening in your body, if you don't feel quite right, reach out, speak to your GP. I wish I would have spoken to my GP sooner. Um, and finally, I would say to people that it's quite amazing what a community of people there is out there when it comes to endometriosis. There are colleagues and friends of mine that I actually didn't realise had the same condition as me. We used to sit on an office on a bank of desks together and we'd all be suffering in silence. One particular friend of mine, we were both going through this, you know, the same condition and never spoke about it. So I'd say reach out and, and get support. Um, that's key. For, for me and, and my journey now, I've just decided to take the marina coil out um, and see whether, you know, there might be a journey there of, of fertility for me and it's seeing how I go. I'd like to try for a child and, and it's very much being in the moment and seeing, you know, seeing how that journey goes, seeing what that process is like. Um, but if I reflect on all the years of having treatment, experiencing the symptoms, it's, it's one where I feel grateful to be at this point now where I can discuss it openly, have the confidence to talk about it, understand the condition and understand my body. 
Um, and I also feel like I'm not crippled by that pain so much that I can't be present. Um, for me, being present in the moment and taking everything in now is such a, a liberating and refreshing feeling, which I've not always had. I think when we talk about endometriosis, it doesn't need to be a scary word. I mean, ask me how to spell it, I still couldn't tell you. But having an open conversation about it is, is really liberating. Um, to feel like you're in control of the condition is empowering, and that's how I feel. Um, which is a great position to be in. And it's taken some time to get here. Um, but I hope through speaking out and, and connecting with others that that can be passed on because it is something that you can live with. It is something that you can treat. Um, and it allows you to just understand your body more. I think one of the key things is the more you understand about what's going on in your body, the more you listen to it, the more that you can help affect change. Um, and find the right journey, the right path that will really help you. Um, and I feel really supported in my journey now through reaching out to other people, through speaking to experts, um, and through being confident enough to address what's happening, not shying away from that. If I take myself back to, you know, the young 20 odd year old, sat at my first job and feeling too scared to say, I'm in pain, I need to go home, or I'm gonna have the day off tomorrow because I think I need to go to the doctors. I just wanna say, Michelle, come on. You know, it's about being in control of your, of your own body. What's going on? Um, and that is something that can be really, really empowering for that individual. Um, and for the people around, you know, the amount of conversations I have now just over coffee about endometriosis, how's your endo, that never used to be a thing. Um, and now it is. And I feel really, I feel really pleased about that. And I think that can only get better in the future the more that we have these, these chats and are honest about what's going on in our bodies. I think for me as well, mentally, I feel so different to how I used to feel. Um, I guess in the past there was that sense of almost shame because it's women's health. Didn't really want to speak up about it. It might, the condition might be bunged into a whole load of other conditions and people not really understand when I'm trying to explain what's going on. I don't feel that anymore. It's definitely a journey, it's a process, but um, looking ahead to the future and you know where things go next especially in my industry it's governed by what's next what's next you know where are things going to be in in five years time in in ten years time for me right now just being able to be focused on the present and enjoy the moment and feel well in myself um, is a great thing and that is definitely something that is possible with this condition <laughs>